stylish and being fashionable are two entirely different things. You can easily buy your way into being fashionable. Style, I think, is in your DNA, but it implies originality and courage. And the worst that can happen when you take a risk is that you fail. I know it's a recession so I want to bring you some you know good vibes we are going to be this recession welcome to my channel if you are revisiting me please subscribe below I'll appreciate it and to my old subscribers you're not old I have a special place in my heart one of my valves beat really really special for you and I've, I've left the other four valves yeah to welcome others so that when we get to that magic number we are going to celebrate together so guys welcome to my channel I am excited. It's a recession. I am excited. Yes, and I have reason to be excited. And I'm going to share them with you today. How to beat this recession and still be stylish. And if possible, you could still buy. Yes, stick with me. I'll keep you woke. So guys, as you know on this channel sustainability matters and we embrace imperfect sustainability so i'll leave you some tips on how you could be imperfectly sustainable so today i'm going to share with you five ways that you could stay stylish stay elegant still enjoy your best life that is your best it's nobody else's in a recession and as such i'm going to share some of my recession bags and recession items but one of the most important things i do to beat any recession is this I always look into my closet and guys because it's something I am always doing and encouraging I go a step farther I go to the very back of my closet and Oftentimes, you find pieces in the corners that are hiding and that you have never worn in a long time that you could spruce up and still look chic, still look elegant still maintain your stylishness because it's not about fashion no you could buy your way into fashion but style it's in your dna and i love that quote from this stylish woman ah she's amazing i love her because it's so true i am here to tell you that you don't even have to buy the first thing that you have to do is go into your closet find something that you have never that you haven't worn in a long time and i'll show you something that i have not worn in a long time and i'll style it up for you today this short dress i found at the back 
I also found this one. Two short dresses. And guys, I haven't worn these in ages. Well, of course, it's green. So I'm going to show you how you could really enhance this piece. It's bland. Yes, you look at it, you may not even find any joy. But here is number two. If you still want to remain stylish, there's another thing you could do, which I always do. If you absolutely must buy something to enhance your outfit, to make it look cute, to be this damn recession, choose your favorite accessory. It could be a brooch. I am not ashamed to wear this brooch every second that I get the opportunity because I paid good money for it and I'll be wearing it to death, to that. So one of the ways that you could really enhance an item, and I've shown you guys a million times, in a time of recession is little accessories such as a brooch and this guys this already up this piece a notch it's no longer boring of course you want to know how i converted my chanel brooch into a necklace so i simply grab a, one of my sturdy chunky necklaces I love this piece. I've got it from my friend in New York ages ago. And this is how I did it. You could also wear the newly converted brooch into the necklace just like this. You could add the brooch to a longer necklace. For a longer necklace, you would note that I'm using necklaces that have similar texture, like the brooch itself. This is a really great Chanel brooch. I, I love it. So this is what I do. So you could simply fall tinier ones you simply add this like so
them I'm making a new plan Rearranging my life and I won't look back ever again yeah. If you ain't see me activated You better hope that you never see And this is actually one way that you could wear your brooches If you don't want to place holes in your clothing items because that is often a concern of some people i am quite mindful of which clothing item i wear my brooches on because yes indeed it leaves holes but if you wear it on thick cotton or linen or tweed wool those are perfect to add your statement brooches and be stylish in a time of recession these little pieces could actually make you look so stylish and elegant another thing i also do something that is a statement actually an exclamation point something that exclaimed to the world that i have arrived i'm i'm not playing in this recession i intend to still look my very best about it it could be something very simple whatever your style is it could also be something that you could recreate improvise if you have necklaces that look like this this is a gorgeous statement necklace that i wear often wear like this you could convert this into a belt just as gorgeous i've shown you guys several times how i have improvised with belts to actually incorporate them into my style two belts guys i'll show you quickly so i have two belts and this is one of my oldest tricks in the book when I want to have something that looks gorgeous. As you see, inserted these two ends together, wrap it around like so, twice, and you could choose where you put either ends. And there you go. your outfit again a million notches guys a million notches and in a time of recession you don't need to go anywhere than in your closet and be creative with what you already have but if you must I went on the second hand market and i got this i believe i paid 15 dollars for this Plan, rearranging my life and i won't look back ever again you can't stop what's moving you can't stop what's moving i'm changing my life and i won't look back ever again no fear she clear you deserve to be great i know it feels like things get in your way push through those walls and the others will fall sit up stand tall you can get through it all i need some energy anxiety's no friend of me i have a short memory i don't really remember things that's how i move on that's how i stay strong a new day's on i'll keep moving right along and i feel like the pain in the past it needs to stay in the past you, you don't have 
fifteen dollars as i've shown you no need i still have you as i've said to many people in the past i am always in a recession yep i act and behave as if i'm always in a recession in the majority of my whole lifestyle yes there are times as i've said there are milestone moments when i buy something that is considered high-end or in my bracket in my income bracket what i consider to be luxury yes i buy those probably twice per year once per year when i do have the money but i always operate as if i'm in a recession so that's one way again that you could beat the recession by having a recession mindset that allows you to consume in a way that would make you instead of break you and for me i also have my recession bags I wanna feel like I'm a new person I wanna 